Well, welcome everybody. My name is Brenda Bauer and I am a mom on a mission to help as many people as possible take healthy back. I really believe that our human bodies were created with a vast capacity to heal themselves if we'll just give them the right nutrition and environment. And that's easy to say and it's, I don't know about you, but it's hard to do day in and day out. And so I partnered with a company that has some really, I think, smart tools and tricks to help us do that. And tonight we're gonna talk specifically about a 10-day jumpstart as a way to reset, to engage an accountability group, put some really fantastic habits in place. So um, bear with us as we go through this information tonight. You're gonna walk away with, um, a free cookbook at the end to download and more ideas that you can use to really care for your health and that of your family as well. So remember when healthy living used to be simple? When we grew our own food, we went outside to play, we could drink water from a hose, and we went to bed when we were tired and we woke up feeling refreshed. And now our food comes from a box, our entertainment comes from our thumbs, our hydration comes from caramel colored uh, caffeinated beverages, and it feels like a lot of the social situations I'm in, it's a one-upmanship of who can be the most tired, who can be the most sleep deprived, who is rocking it on the least amount of sleep, right? But that's not good for our bodies. So I would just invite you, I'm not going to call on anybody, just take a deep breath and think, how are you doing at taking care of you? You know, they tell us on the airplane, you must put the oxygen mask on yourself first before you can help the person next to you. And so often I get to talk to groups of women and I feel like so many of us are trying to pour from an empty bucket and we need to take care of ourselves first before we can pour out and care for the people around us. So, you know, just how are you doing at eating real food? In the last 24 hours, think back, how many servings of fruits and vegetables did you feed yourself? And a serving is about the size of your fist. So if you have a bigger fist, you get to eat more. And, um, you know, so little kids, I always wondered when my kids were preschoolers, like how much fruit should they be eating? Well, I could just look at their fist and that's how much I would put on their plate. If they wanted more, they could have more. Um, how are you doing at exercise? You know, for some of us, that is getting to the mailbox and back. For other people, they want to be the most competitive person at the CrossFit gym. So it's just what level you want to be at, and are you there? How are you doing at drinking water? We should have about half our body weight in ounces of water every day. And I also tell people, don't go from zero to 60, right? If you are not drinking any water right now, start with eight or 16 ounces. And, um, you know, how are you doing at sleeping? We uh, really need to have seven to eight hours of sleep per night. So this is your permission slip. Turn off the TV, turn off the electronics, begin to slow down 30 minutes to an hour before you plan on actually closing your eyes for the evening and give yourself that rest. The laundry is going to be there tomorrow. Those toilets are going to be there tomorrow. It's all going to be okay. And it'll all look a lot better in the morning. <laughs> so I love to sleep. Can you tell? So there are two startling trends in our world. The first one is our environmental toxins are increasing. And I think we would all agree that we know we have water runoff and soil contamination that's going into our plants, it's going into the animals that we eat, it's coming from car exhaust and industry and all kinds of places. And then also our food quality is decreasing. If my grandmother were to walk through today's grocery store aisles, much of it she would not recognize as food, right? It's chock full of preservatives and flavor enhancers, emulsifiers, synthetic vitamins, genetically modified organisms. It has less nutrition, more pesticides, more trans fats and artificial colors and growth hormones than ever before. So we really need to be protecting our bodies from these two trends. And they both result in more oxidative stress in our body every single day. You've probably heard antioxidants, it's been in the news for about 20 years now. And that is because our DNA is actually being bombarded by these 
free radicals that come off of um, the toxins in the environment and the contaminated and food-like processed things that we eat actually causing us to age faster. The good news is that there's an antioxidant, right? There's something to slow down this oxidative stress in the body, and it only comes from fruits and vegetables. So we know when we put lemon juice on an apple, it turns brown more slowly. It's actually rusting or aging more slowly. Well, what is in that lemon juice? An antioxidant. And so it can do the same thing in our bodies as well. Well, I was raised on a multivitamin. I had a very smart mama who gardened uh, with us and fed us two colors of vegetables at every meal. And yet she also knew somehow that we weren't getting all of the nutrition that we needed just from the food that we ate. And so she fed us a multivitamin. And then in my 20s, I got sassy and I started thinking, how come some guy in a lab coat gets to decide that only, uh, what are there in that multivitamin label? Like six things are important. When you look at all the little fine print next to the apple on the right hand side of the screen, that's 500 of the over 40,000 known components in an apple. And so they work together like an orchestra playing together in beautiful chords to do really good things in our body. And that's just in an apple. So, um, you know, a lot of people say, oh yeah, I know I need to eat more fruits and vegetables, but we actually have to eat more than uh, like my grandparents' generation. So when I was a kid, it was five a day, right? Eat your five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Now the Centers for Disease Control recommends seven to 13. Well, why are they upping it? Are we sicker a little bit? but it has more to do with the fact that they know that the fruits and vegetables available to us in the grocery store don't have as much nutrition. Lots of them were picked green, which means they weren't allowed to ripen and get all the nutrition in. And then they are trucked on average, they're about two weeks from the plant by the time we get it at the grocery store. And I don't know about you, but I don't grocery shop every day, so I don't buy it and bring it home and eat it. Um, so it sits at my house even longer, and that nutrition content begins to slow down uh, even more. So I was thrilled when a friend shared with me that somebody figured out how to put fruits and vegetables in a capsule, and they solved a bunch of those things. So it's grown at family-sized farms. Um, everything is 100% herbicide, pesticide, uh, and fungal-free, and they're picked at the peak of ripeness. They are juiced and dried uh, within 24 hours of picking, or they're flash frozen until they can get to the juicing facility. And then I check out at the grocery store aisle, and I see the tabloid magazine, and it says, eat this new superfood. It's going to save your life, right? And I go home, and I look at my labels. And I go, oh, bilberry. It's in there. Oh, papaya. It's in there. Oh, quinoa. And I'm just going to confess. For like three years, I was calling it quinoa, and nobody corrected me. If your girlfriend has toilet paper on her shoe, you tell her. When your girlfriend is teaching a nutrition class and she's pronouncing it wrong, you tell her. I'm just saying. Okay, so uh, my family is able to get 45 whole foods going into our bodies every single day. You want to talk about um, the antidote for mom guilt. This is it right here for me. I just love knowing that. So as I mentioned, I first heard about these products in 1998. Um, in my early 20s, I had been having migraine headaches and back pain since high school. I'm almost six feet tall. I was a cheerleader. So people were literally standing on me as a cheerleader. You know, they were climbing. So it's no surprise that I had back pain, except both my parents have had multiple back surgeries. So I thought that was my life. I thought I was going to have back pain. I thought I was headed for back surgery. I thought migraines were something I had to live with. And um, I, I just said yes to Juice Plus because my mom raised me great and I knew that I needed to eat better and I didn't want to. Um, and I think it was about six months later, I opened my purse and that migraine prescription pill had disintegrated in my purse because I hadn't needed to take it. So that got my attention. Um, I am 44 years old. I do yoga once a week. Uh, I say that to say I am not a gym rat who works out every single day, and I wake up in the morning and nothing hurts. I have no back pain. 
Um, nothing aches or creaks when I get out of bed in the morning. And I'm absolutely just so grateful for that because I'm hearing from my peer group that that's not normal for somebody in their mid 40s, which by the way is young in case we're counting. Okay, <laughs> just want you to know that. So fast forward, met the man of my dreams. We got to have two beautiful babies together. And the other thing that I love is because this is just whole food, it's absolutely appropriate for anyone from the womb to the tomb. I wonder about products that are not safe for pregnant or nursing mamas. Because if it's not good for baby, it's not good for the rest of us. So these two girls have been on Juice Plus since before they were conceived. We've had one round of antibiotic in 12 years between two kids. Yes, we do get sniffles, uh, but we don't go to bed. We don't miss out on life. We don't uh, end up with an urgent care visit, and we don't end up with the pink stuff in our refrigerator. So that's a little bit of my story. And then tonight we're also talking about this 10 day jump start. And so I just want to share my initial experience with that. So on December 26th of 2013, my girlfriend called and said, Hey, some people are doing two of the plant-based protein drink mix and half their body weight in ounces of water. And they're having some pretty profound results. Do you want to do it with me? And at that point, the commitment was for 30 days. And I was like, Sure, I have everything in my pantry. I had used it as emergency food, right? Like we overslept, what are we gonna eat for breakfast? Ooh, I don't really want a Pop-Tart. Oh, I can do that smoothie thing. Uh, but never with any consistency. And I was a pretty good water drinker, but I'd never tracked it. And she said, don't change anything else. Um, don't take any food away. We're not replacing meals and promise me you'll take a picture. And I said, I am never putting a picture of me in spandex on the internet and here we are. So never say never, uh, but six months later, I was two dress sizes smaller, which did not hurt my feelings. I could wear the dress I wore to my five-year high school reunion, yay, and I have kept that off for four years. I can still fit in that dress, uh, and yes, I know fashion has changed, and I should let the dress go, but I love the dress. Okay, so at the end of 30 days, right, so at the end of January, I was running up the sledding hill ahead of my kids because I had that kind of energy at 39 years old. And I started training for a 5K, which fascinates me to this day because if you could interview my middle school PE coach, she would tell you that Brenda was terrible at running and could not do it. I hated it even in junior high when I was skinny as a pencil. And um, so it fascinates me that it's something that I enjoy doing now. Just amazing to me. Okay, so here's a little bit about what we're talking about, because let's face it, there's a million pills and bottles, right? You walk into CVS, you walk into the vitamin store, and it's like aisle after aisle of pills and bottles. So how can we be informed consumers and make a good choice for ourselves? So here's what I coach people. Look for something that has a food label. When you look at a vitamin, it's going to have a supplement label, which means it's been processed and fra fragmented away from the plant. When I look at my Juice Plus labels, and so here are mine, and I'm gonna try to hold this up close enough to the camera that you can see, that has a nutrition facts label. That means that it is food and has the same nutrition facts label as broccoli does in the freezer section of the grocery store, right? So it has not been processed, it is still food, uh, it is not a food-like substance. <clears throat> Then I also look for things that's phytonutrients. Remember we talked about the difference between that and vitamins. Look for things that are non-GMO. If you don't know why, I just recommend that you Google it. That's not part of this conversation tonight, but be an informed consumer about why you might want to uh, really monitor how much of that you put in your body. Um, and then also look for products that are dairy-free and gluten-free because dairy and gluten are inflammatory to the human body. Whether or not you're lactose intolerant, whether or not you um, have a gluten intolerance, they cause inflammation in our bodies. And so we want to, again, be careful about how much of that we eat. So I also tell people to look for something that has a third party quality assurance, right? Because um, the Surgeon General, Attor Surgeon General, Attorney General, somebody in New York City did a sting operation and they went into a drugstore and they pulled 200 vitamin products off the shelf. And they took them to a lab and they had them tested to see is what is on the label in the bottle and vice versa. Something like two products or 2% of the products, but I really think it was two products 
past. Which means we need to be very careful about what we're buying and putting in our bodies because just because the label looks good does not mean what's inside it is good. Unfortunately, our supplement industry is completely unregulated and nobody's making sure that that happens. But with this NSF certification, we know that what's on the label is in the bottle and vice versa. Um, and NSF actually certifies things like elevators. So not only do they not care if the Juice Plus company is successful, they don't even care if the entire supplement or health product industry is um, successful. Does that make sense? Like they're not tied to us. They don't, they're going to be fine regardless. And they're actually nonprofit also. But okay. And then also look for a product that has actual published medical research done on it and one of the reasons I fell in love with Juice Plus is it is the most researched nutritional product in the world. You can ask Siri and she will tell you that. So this is um, many of the health centers that have studied Juice Plus on real human beings, MD Anderson Cancer Center, um, National Institutes of Health, Yale University School of Medicine, and you know, you're known by the company that you keep. So if there was any concern that Juice Plus did anything but good things in the body, they probably wouldn't have risked their reputation to even take a look at it. Uh, and so that's a really high compliment. And then I just have to tell you about a few of them. So they've actually taken those over 40 studies and condensed it into 11 bullet points. We know that Juice Plus improves cardiovascular wellness, several different biomarkers. It supports a healthy immune system. I love that walking into cold and flu season, right? Like what if we could be sick less often? What if we could not feel as bad as our peers? Uh, and what if we could get over it faster? Like totally get over it faster. I love that. Um, I came home from Florida with the travel cold and it lasted me about two days. And I never felt bad and I never felt like I had to go to bed. I was just uncomfortable, annoying, blowing my nose kind of deal. Um, it's been proven to improve gum tissue, reduce oxidative stress. So that was the lemon juice on the apple that we talked about. That's 18 different studies that have shown that Juice Plus reduces oxidative stress biomarkers in the human body, and they've tested it um, in different age groups from college students to elite athletes to military to post-retirement age folks, same results. Um, Juice Plus reduces inflammation throughout the body. Silent inflammation is um, the beginning of almost every chronic disease path. It protects our DNA. Many of us have a family history of XYZ disease and we're trying to figure out how to prevent that. Um, and so wouldn't it be nice to know that the food that we're eating is actually protecting our DNA and keeping those disease switches from turning on? Uh, it improves our skin, insulin resistance, and obesity markers are improved. And both of those studies were done in pre-adolescent boys. Again, we don't test as a culture, right? We don't test on kids unless we know it's 100% safe. So the fact that a pediatric children's hospital came to the Juice Plus company and said, we want to take a look at what your products are doing is, is just, um, to me, it's a real compliment. Overall improved quality of life and also improved lung health. That was done in uh, a group of men who actually continued to smoke and still their pulmonary lung function improved. No, I am not recommending that you smoke. What I am saying is that food is really powerful and it can help our body heal. Okay, the other thing that I love as a mama is our company's commitment to whole families getting healthy, right? So I was, that smart mom of mine also was dieting. And so I've seen her do the yogurt diet, I've seen her do the cabbage diet, I've seen her do the soup diet, and thank goodness she did not require us as kids to participate in any of those crazy diets, right? But I think what really works for families is when everybody can get healthy together and when it's something that they can do together. And so we're so committed to seeing healthy families that um, we sponsor kids for free. So with an adult order of Juice Plus, you can order for a child in your home and get that product for free. 
they need to be aged four through actively enrolled in college because we are asking for feedback three times a year to fill out a survey. And that's how we know that our families are seeing 56% per, less uh, over-the-counter and prescription drugs. Like, what would it be like to go off a of medication? Um, they're missing fewer days of school, which means mom and dad are not calling in sick to work and missing getting paid. They're eating more real fruits and vegetables. They're going to the doctor less. Um, they're drinking more water. They're consuming less fast food and soft drinks. Like, what if your cravings were better? What if instead of the whole slice of chocolate cake, you felt really good with two bites, two forkfuls? It's happened to me. I, I still like chocolate cake, but I don't need as much of it to scratch the itch, right? Um, and I just love that 96% are reaping a positive benefit of some kind. Like, they're... They're seeing that they're taking responsibility for their health at a younger and younger age. I've seen my girls say, you know, mom, I only want to eat green light foods today, which means fruits and vegetables at our house. So um, I love that commitment to health. And then here's the nuts and bolts of what we're going to talk about. So the 10 day shred is a 10 day jump start. What we do during the 10 days is we shred the food, toxins, and habits that are not serving us. We add in a bunch of fantastic habits so we don't miss the old habits as much. You get a 10-day uh, a guide for the 10 days, how to stock your pantry, how to shop the grocery store, recipes, meal plan if you want it for the 10 days, if that's your style. If you're like, yep, just give me the rules, I'll rock it on my own, you can do that as well. And then I need to know why I'm doing what I'm doing. So when you tell me to take a 10 day break from caffeine, I'm gonna need to know why that's good for me and you're gonna have to convince me. And so those articles are in there too and they're written by licensed medical professionals and I love that. So it's not just Joe Blow's blog site, right, of why this is a good idea. And then when you graduate the 10 days, you get a cooking guide because we aren't gonna undo what we've done to these bodies in 10 days. This is a lifestyle change, but it's a 10 day jump start. And so the cooking guide then helps you to roll that into making these habits stick with you for long term. Okay, so why would we wanna do a 10 day shred? So many of us have been coached to calorie restrict, which is what I call dieting, or over-exercise, which is burning more calories than we consume. And when we do that, well, let me back up and say, did you know that your body is storing fat because it loves you? See, I thought my body was storing fat because it was mad at me and it did not like me. But remember how we were talking about the two trends and the toxins in our environment? Your body is storing fat to enrobe the toxins because we're eating more toxins than our liver and kidneys can handle in a day. And so it says, Oop, overload, store, wrap it in fat so it doesn't kill me while I'm storing it. And so when we calorie restrict or overexercise, we're burning the fat, but we aren't addressing the toxins. So you can see in that middle picture, our overall toxic load has actually increased, which then triggers our hunger hormones and we have a cheat day or we look at the piece of chocolate cake and it goes whoop, right back where it started, right? And we have a rebound. And we've all, I think with social media now, we've all seen a friend who has some kind of weight loss success and then the next time we see them, they're heavier than before they started. And I, I don't use the word hate very often. I hate that because if somebody's had a success, they deserve to be able to stick with it, right? Like they did that thing, it should hold with them. And so this is what I love about doing a cleanse instead. So we know our fats storing, our body storing fat to protect us from the toxins. When we cleanse, when we flood our body with fruits and vegetables, the body now says, ooh, I have enough, I can release these toxins and flush them out oh, by the way, the fat was attached to those toxins, doesn't hurt our feelings. And then when we go into maintenance mode, and then when we look at a piece of chocolate cake, there's no rebound because the body can process the toxins as they come in, and it can process the sugar as it comes in. So weight loss becomes easier. Um, we find that people are losing inches quicker, but again, it's not a weight loss. It's about healing the body from the inside out and everybody's body processes that differently. So I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that makes you like yourself a little bit better. <laughs> I know I was happier with my body after learning that. 
And then the other thing we talk about too all the time is this willpower, right? Like some, why can some people just decide that they're going to eat healthier and they never have another craving again, or that's what it looks like on the outside, right? And then others of us, like we have to honor that rule about not going to the grocery store hungry, right? Because everything is going to end up in my grocery cart if I go there hungry. So they've actually scientifically proven this and it's called your glycemic index. And so when we eat high glycemic or high sugar foods, we have a spike and a crash. And you can see that zone of willpower is in the middle. And so we're like never in the zone of willpower because we spike and we crash. So we fall right through it, but we never stay there. But when we can eat low glycemic foods, which are fruits and vegetables, yes, fruits have sugar in them, but they come with all this amazing fiber so that we don't spike and crash. We have this nice rise and fall in between our meals and we stay in that zone of willpower. And so we need to eat often and we need to eat low glycemic foods to keep us in that zone of willpower. So here's a tool that we use. I said, my friend called and said, take two shakes a day. This is what we were doing. It's called Juice Plus Complete. It is that low glycemic load. Uh, in fact, I've heard some pretty fascinating stories of even type one diabetics that are using less insulin um, when they are eating the complete shakes every day. They're vegan and non-GMO, they're gluten and dairy-free, they're completely plant-based protein, and it's both a prebiotic and a probiotic all in one place. Really, really delicious. In fact, um, I was having a little pity party today at lunch, and I decided that chocolate and peanut butter was going to be my lunch. Thank goodness I had bought the uh, dairy-free yogurt at the grocery store yesterday, so I poured in a scoop of chocolate powder into the vanilla yogurt and had that like it was chocolate pudding, so fantastic with some peanuts, and it was totally amazing, and I was completely satisfied. Now, I don't eat that way every, way every day for lunch, but here's the thing, I kind of could, and it would be okay for me. <laughs> so um, it was really fun to be able to do that. I always like it when I can cheat the system and yet not cheat myself. Okay, this just fascinates me because this is so not our company to have some beefcake on here, but this is your treat, girls, for tonight. So when you drink the complete, you're going to look just like him. No, I'm, that is not the truth. I'm joking. It's a great opportunity to jump to have a healthy breakfast, to use it as pre or post workout drink, or for an afternoon or late night snack, and you're putting only good things in your body. Okay, Miss Catherine, would love for you to say, why did Juice Plus make sense to you, and what have you seen since you added it? Um, oh, hang on. Turn your sound down. Ow. Altony and I are in the same room, so sorry about that. Um, I guess I got started the end of August, and I have noticed that I feel better. Um, I seem to be sleeping not necessarily longer, but deeper and more restful when I do it. Um, and I'm finding it easier not to binge on sugar. Uh, I actually got started for my son's sake. He was doing, dealing with some muscle cramps. And since um, I could get mine and get his for free, um, I, I thought I would do that. And he has noticed a huge difference uh, in his muscle cramps. Though so he's 16 and uh, he's not going to admit that to you, but... It works, and I, I really like it, and this will be my third tread, and the first one, I could tell a huge difference in how I felt when I was done. The last one, I wasn't on it as good. It was my birthday, and so I was like, I'm going to have cake and whatever, um, but what I found after the first one, and that is held true all the way through now, is um, giving up dairy made a huge difference in how I feel. Uh, and I didn't want to give up dairy. I didn't want to give up my cheese. But giving that up made a huge difference. And being able to take one of the shakes and use like a nut milk or um, or like water and then frozen fruits and stuff made it easier because <laughs> then that was like my dairy treats. So but I'm really pleased with what uh, I've um, experience so far. 
and I'm looking forward to, to more of it. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Kathleen, I can't hear you. Hang on. Oh. Go ahead. That was fantastic. Thank you so much for being willing to share. And Catherine, this is my friend Valerie who loves it when I call on her unannounced. Valerie, do you want to share anything and you can pass, honey? No, I'm good. Um, so my first actual full out shred was in August also. I had done some, I called them shreds, but I wasn't taking Juice Plus. I was using a different pro, an actual protein shake, and I wasn't eliminating gluten or dairy. So it was a very uh, half, I won't say half-hearted, it's just it took me a while to come to, okay, let me go ahead and go all in. I've seen a little bit of change, but not much. So in August, I did, I went all in, complete shakes full out juice plus, which I did not start taking really in, in earnest until August. Um, and within, after getting through those first few days that were so, so difficult, it was amazing. Um, I had been having more and more trouble just with aches, getting up um, my knees, my ankles, things were hurting. And I would easily say, by halfway through, if not definitely by through the end of August, that those pains, that inflammation had decreased. I too am a big dairy person. I love milk. Um, definitely during the shred, I switched for my shakes. I went to a rice milk. Um, instead, I have not acquired the taste for almond yet, but I'm going to get there. And I do find myself as after the 10 day shred, if I let dairy start creeping back into my life, I start to see, feel a little bit different. So for me, it's just continuing the shred outside the 10 day window. Um, this month has been a little bit different. Uh, I have, I've slid, slid off the bandwagon a little bit, which is why I'm so excited about November to really just kickstart. And cause I can tell now that, I have not been as diligent with what I'm eating and really the shakes I love now, which Brenda knows me well enough to say that that's a huge accomplishment because I take every morning a shaker bottle and complete shake and head to work and they sustain me until early afternoon. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to eat again because I've lost all track of time. I don't have the spikes of up and down hunger and Donuts can be at our, is our, or at our office on a regular occasion, and I can ignore them now, so I'm very happy. Um, so I'm really looking forward to November just to sort of get me refocused, um, not necessarily re-energize, re but I'm going to take the next few days to clear out our house of all the really bad stuff we've bought <laughs> and um, just concentrate again back on, on what made me, has made me feel so good over the past few months. Awesome. Thank you both for being willing to share. Uh, I have to tell you about one more thing before we move on, and that is Juice Plus Omega Blend. So maybe you have been coached to take a fish oil supplement or add in an omega-3 supplement. Um, it's good for our heart, our brain, our joints, our skin, our eyes. We don't even know all the places, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I was coached to take a fish oil probably about 10 years ago by my eye doctor, for some dry eyes. And so I added a fish oil. Um, I wasn't, I didn't really feel like it helped with my dry eyes, but I sure knew I was burping nasty fish taste. And so that was enough to make me stop taking it. And since then I found out that uh, fish oil products, it takes oh, something some like a hundred pounds of fish or something to make an ounce of fish oil. So it is not good for our environment. And then when you add in that many of our fish populations um, are going extinct because they've been overfished, and it's really opening us up for the opportunity of heavy metal toxification because heavy metals in the ocean fall to the bottom, that's where the fish are. Um, you get to skip all those things with a plant-based product. So I was really excited when this came out and the Juice Plus company took a full 10 years to develop this product. They weren't going to do it unless it was absolutely stellar. So it's a full spectrum of omegas, three, five, six, seven, and nine, completely vegetarian product. 
And I will tell you that my skin issues have improved drastically in the year and a half that I have been on it. Um, people keep telling me I look younger and younger. I don't know if it's the omegas or not, but I promise it has never hurt my feelings for someone to say, oh my gosh, you look younger than I, when I saw you six months ago. Okay, thanks. You know, like that's good with me. So it uh, might be something that you're interested in. So let's look a little bit at what happens during the 10 days. So for 10 days, we're going to add in more real food, and we're going to add in the Juice Plus Trio Capsules, which is the fruits, the veggies, and the berries, and also the omegas if you want them. And then we're going to do two complete shakes a day. Again, we're not taking away meals. We're adding in two shakes. So have a shake, eat your breakfast. Um, have a shake, eat your lunch, or eat your lunch, and then have a shake in the afternoon. You can do it any time of day that you want to. We just don't want to get in that restrictive, takeaway, calorie counting mindset. Um, and so I think you heard Valerie say, now she's pretty much totally satisfied with a shake for breakfast, right? But in the beginning, I think I can speak for you, it was like, I need to eat something too. Totally okay. Totally okay to do that. We want to drink plenty of water because remember, we are flushing those toxins out of our body. So we need that water highway going through our body so those toxins can slide on out of here. We wanna sleep for seven to eight hours. So here's my little nutrition geek fact for today. The human growth hormone is what heals our bodies. When you have a cut, the human growth hormone is what says these cells need to go here, regrow, da da da, that's what happens. That only happens at night and it only happens when our GI system can rest. So if we put food in our stomachs and put our head on the pillow, your human growth hormone can't trigger, that system doesn't work because that energy while you're sleeping is going toward digesting food. Is that fascinating or what? So go to sleep, <laughs> go to sleep not on a full stomach. Okay, and then we wanna exercise most days. When we're moving our blood in our bodies, it's actually opening capillaries along our veins and arteries that you make, your body makes its own medicine. It's the most fascinating thing ever. Okay, and then we're gonna shred those toxins that aren't serving us well. So we talked about it, you knew it was coming. We are gonna reduce or eliminate gluten, dairy, caffeine, nobody's passed out on me yet, alcohol, processed foods, and artificial and refined sugars. Um, it's 10 days. You can do anything for 10 days. And as Valerie said, if there's one or two or five of these that are a deal breaker for you, you start where you are, you do the things you can, you come back and shred with us the next month. There are lots of shreds where I don't eliminate caffeine. I don't have as fantastic of that cleaning feeling um, as I do on the months when I don't. But there are also no shred police that show up at my house and arrest me either for drinking the caffeine, right? So we don't have to take ourselves too seriously. It's like everything else in life, you get out of it what you put into it. And then I just need to tell you about the no eating after 6 p.m. So we talked about the human growth hormone and the sleeping on a you know, not full stomach. That's really what that's going to. And also there's so much talk right now about intermittent fasting. That's what that is, okay? So what we're doing is we're taking 12 hours of GI rest. And if you work the night shift, this is not going to work for you. If you are pregnant or nursing, this is not going to work for you. But the idea and the goal is to have 12 hours. So whatever time you start eating breakfast in the morning, which for me is 730, can I be finished eating by 730 that night? That's really the goal. So it's not the magic number of 6 p.m. It's 12 hours of GI rest. I hope that makes sense. So here's some common things that people are, are observing after doing the 10 days, and I think you've heard a lot of these already. They're craving more real fruits and vegetables. I hated everything in the cabbage family before doing this. Now Brussels sprouts and cabbage taste like candy in my mouth. It absolutely fascinates me. I cannot get enough of it. Uh, people find that their bodies are coming to a healthier weight, and we can see that, right? If we're storing fat, to protect toxins and we're decreasing that toxic load that can happen better recovery from workout i have a friend who's totally a running nut i don't even know she does like four miles every day she's in her mid to late 40s and she calls me like every two months and says brenda i'm running faster i'm running faster i'm running faster she ran a race with her college daughter like as a 
more like a social kind of thing. She didn't train for it at all like she normally would have. And she called me and she said, it's Monday. I haven't been sore since Saturday. I haven't been sore like at all. What's going on? I go, I don't know, but I'm happy for you. Yay. Yay you. Good job. Uh, better sleep, you've heard, increased energy, healthier hair, skin, and nails, which that just says that our bodies push nutrition to the outside last. So when it shows up in our hair, skin, and nails, we know we've done really good things on the inside. Improved regularity. Yes, I said it. You should be going, number two, every day. I was a once a week girl before Juice Plus back in the 90s. And I thought that was normal because nobody told me any differently, right? Okay, and then increased mental clarity is also something that people see. That brain fog begins to clear. It's pretty fascinating. Uh, all right, so we want to thank you for investing your time to either be here with us tonight or to watch it on the replay. And you might be thinking, I'm going to go eat some kale tomorrow. I'm going to drink half my weight and body. Uh, half my body weight in ounces of water this week. And if you've been inspired to make a healthy change because you came tonight, um, we we just congratulate you. We're so glad that you chose to be here with us and that you got inspired to do that. Or you may have been thinking, I need more fruits and vegetables. And so there's three ways that you can get started. You can start with the basic package. You could do the premium, you could do the all-in shred. We can have a conversation later about what your health goals are and where you wanna get started. So some people just sort of say like, give me the pills and don't change the way I eat at all. We can maybe talk about that later. Other people are ready to do the shred, they're ready for an all-in change and um, we can help you with any of those. Or maybe you've sat here, like Catherine did, and thought, not only do I want to do better for me and my family, but I know some people who could be benefited by this too. And we can have a conversation about what that might look like. And um, so here are your free resources. I always love like free gift, right? When you come to something. So this is your free gift. Go to healthylivingrevolution.com. You'll find a free cookbook to download. There's a Healthy Starts for Families program with a checklist for big and little kids to pack a healthy lunch so that um, my kids now make their own lunches and they know if they have something from one of the four categories, they've got a healthy lunch going. Um, we have Facebook support groups, we run shred groups, and then we also do live and online educational events like this all the time. And we have doctors speak and all kinds of things. There are also on this website, free at-home workouts that you can do as well in 20 minutes. And so I love that. And they're everything from yoga, payo, high impact, low impact. Um, there's even a mindfulness and breathing exercise on there. Doesn't that sound like fun? I need to go check that one out too. And we have some events coming up between now and the end of the year. So I've listed some dates of the ones that I'm hosting at my house. And as you've heard people say, our next shred group starts a week from today, November 5th. 10 days goes by really quickly. Um, you get put into our accountability group. You get text messages from us with inspiration and motivation and you can do it and it might get hard, but it's gonna get better and all those kinds of things. Which I am so much better with a buddy. I don't know about anybody else. So I'm gonna turn off the recording and then I'll open it up for questions.